News now tonight, an officer at the Hartford Correctional Center is under fire, accused of sexually assaulting a woman. Well, tonight, News H Josh Scheinblum is live in our Hartford newsroom with the very latest on this case. Josh? His name is Calvin Grisales, and this morning he entered a plea of not guilty. Obviously, it's a stressful situation, but uh, we're working together to uh, defend the case fully. Inside Hartford Superior Court, a man accused of raping a woman appeared in front of a judge. According to court documents, the victim is identified only as Jane Doe, and it says that on the night she was assaulted, she was walking south on Weathersfield Avenue when a blue SUV approached her and ordered her to get inside the vehicle. Police believe that man is Calvin Grisales, and those same documents go on to say he allegedly displayed a handgun to the victim as well before taking her to a parking lot located at the Sport and Medical Sciences Academy where the assault then occurred. He's charged with threatening, illegal possession of a weapon in a motor vehicle, sexual assault, and illegal use of a facsimile firearm. Inside the courthouse, family and friends of Grisales could be seen crying and consoling one another. But when we asked them to give us their thoughts on the case, they had few words. Not common. They might not have spoken, but Grisales' attorney did. It's not an easy position from where he is. Currently, he's being held at de with Department of Correction. But at the same time, we're going to defend all the charges uh, you know, vehemently. Grisales' bond was set at $750,000, and he'll soon be back in court again. But this may be just the beginning of his legal journey, as some allege he may be linked to other sexual assault-related incidents that have occurred both in New Britain and Hartford, and there could be DNA evidence to back it up. There's some possible possibility for other warrants to be forthcoming. We reached out to the Department of Correction to get their thoughts on the case, and in a statement sent to News 8, we were told the following, quote, Calvin Grisales is the subject of an ongoing Department of Correction investigation. Therefore, in accordance with departmental policy, we cannot release any information pertaining to the investigation at this time. Grisales will be back in court later this month. For now, we're live outside the Hartford Newsroom. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.